Good morning, everybody. Today is way throwing it back Thursday. We're throwing it back to when I used to make flat South Georgia biscuits because Dimple Smith taught me that that's the way her family liked it. And I said, well, my family likes them big old hot high things. Well, I don't. I like these flat ones better because they're not so doughy and you don't have to eat more of them, I think. But today, there's a purpose behind this madness. My sweet Dawn sent Mr. Ella J a gift. <clears throat> and as she handed it to me, she apologized and said, please tell him that it didn't set up like it was supposed to. Hmm. So Perfect Dawn has sent you, do you want to pick up that muscadine jelly? Which, which? This one right oh, here, yeah. that it yeah. kind of is yeah. runny yeah. and she yeah. apologizes yeah. immensely. And I said, Sugar, we're going to use it on TV. And she said, well, okay, so I guess today we're going to call it syrup or something. But then I did bring you back some more pear honey just in case you wanted to taste a little of different ones. But, but last week you wanted a biscuit, and you didn't need a biscuit because you just sat here and ate pear honey. And I thought... Oh, oh yeah, I ordered up biscuits. <laughs> you did. Yeah. You did. So that's why you have biscuits today. Did you today. make them yourself, Donovan? Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, Donovan made them this morning. He got up real early and made yeah. biscuits. Mm -hmm. I taught him how to make them South Georgia style where they're flat as a flitter. But anyway, today is a day of throwing it way back 82 years. 82 years ago, a special lady was born. And her yeah. name would be? Margie, Aunt Margie. Happy birthday. Her birthday is actually Saturday. Mm -hmm. This coming Saturday, October 1st. <laughs> yeah. Celebrate, celebrate, so celebrate. We're uh, doing a celebration on the TV. This and morning. we didn't have cake, but we have a biscuit. Biscuits and, and jelly. And jelly. So, Auntie Margie. A Auntie Margie, you're going to have to think about up. this. Okay. You're going to have oh, gotcha. you're going to have a birthday celebration. We don't have 82 candles to put in a biscuit, though. No. I don't know that that would no. work. But and you told me how beautiful she was when she was young and oh, how special yeah. she's always been to she's you. She's still beautiful. She gets all dolled up with her makeup, <laughs> and she's getting a perm today. <laughs> oh, happy oh, birthday! Oh, she's going to be pretty. <laughs> And uh, she is really, really excited about this birthday. We October all are. First, 82 yeah. years. Yeah. We're so blessed to have her yep. this long. Yep. And another hold on, birthday. Hold on. Uh oh. Hmm. Uh oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, little Auntie. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> How sweet. Now, that birthday also goes out to my precious sister, Lila, who is battling cancer. And her birthday is October the 2nd. And um, she said last night, a hurricane and all these doctor messes, and here I sit. And Charles, my sweet brother-in-law, you know what Charles was doing while Lila was stressing and worrying and all this? What was Charles doing? in the bed asleep. <laughs> what do most men do? They just go to bed. When a tornado would come through, Jay not, not Not this man. Not this man, no. Uh, always <laughs> accomplishing <laughs> something. Yes, Getting yes, stuff yes, done. Yes, yeah, you are. Having fun. You are. I was up this morning at 5 o'clock a.m. I was on Fort Mountain. I walked the lake three times this morning at 5 o'clock. Are you kidding? No, I'm he not kidding. He is trying to just show off and be an overachiever. You know, there's just something yeah. about you and that overachieving. You walk around that lake three <laughs> times pretty fast. You know you done something. Yeah, yeah. Five o'clock this morning. How you like me now, folks? That is crazy. Pretty good, huh? Five o'clock. It's not 5 even daylight. Five a.m. I know it. Did yep. you see any snakes or critters or anything? It wasn't daylight. <laughs> you couldn't tell. 
I'm crazy. Yeah. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> I told y'all he was crazy. Yeah. You know what I realized right now? Six months you've been with us. Six months you've been here with <laughs> us. It has just flown by just like this. Yeah. It's so all of a made sudden. You know, well, it is. It is. It's crazy. I know. It's crazy how time just flies. And you keep having me back. We keep, you know why? <laughs> the phone is ringing. People are calling. They say, we love Dwight Sanford. We love when Mr. LJ comes. I want a Mr. LJ t-shirt. Can you get me a CD? I'm so tired of hearing about Dwight Sanford. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you, folks. Thank it's you. It's so sweet. It's thank so sweet. Thank you so much. Now, it's now, fun. It is fun. It is fun. We have fun and we get things done. Yes. You have been sweet enough to take me on some back roads because we're working on something that we want to change the Welcome to LJ song and we need some footage of back roads. Yes, do we that. do. Yes, yes. So Jim took us on a ride <clears throat> and Jim and, did and not And some fail footage us. of me playing music. Yes, yes. Uh, instead of other people. That's right. That's right. <laughs> So we're on a mission to do this new video. I hope that you have heard the song Welcome to LJ. If you haven't, if you just go to YouTube yeah. and you just hit Welcome to LJ, it will come up. Listen to it and get that little step in your walk when you hear it. And, and I will say, I'll probably get arrested for this. I go around the roundabout in town and I roll all my windows down and I blast that sucker's loud. Yeah, you're going to get arrested. <laughs> get arrested. Yeah. But it ought to be playing in downtown LJ. I'm sorry. But Ball Ground is a little tiny city and we have this music that plays in downtown. Why doesn't LJ have it? Well, I won't elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to stay out of trouble, aren't you? I hate when he does that. <laughs> I'll just say it is a good song. It is about Ella J, and a boy from Ella J wrote it, but uh, we'll just leave it there. Okay, I got you. <laughs> Enough. Enough. Okay, we're going to show a video of the back roads. We're also going to show something Prayers for Florida. Oh, God. Over, they're confirming now estimates in the hundreds of people who may have died. Oh. They don't know definite numbers yet, but they are so stressed and so worried. And so that is our prayer for Florida. Please pray for Florida. My sister sent me that and I said, oh my gosh, how appropriate. His hands are right where it hit the worst. Mm. My sister is over um, east of Orlando a little bit and she's getting hit right now as we're on the air. But the winds are much less than they were. They're like 70 miles an hour, which still isn't good Gosh. and isn't fun. But it is, um, it is devastating, and the state of Florida needs our prayers. So y'all, your prayers, your churches, everybody get together. We will be having to help Florida get through this. Now, I lived in Florida in Hurricane Donna, which was devastating, but not as bad as this one was. I so know. It's going to be tough. I got my little Astrid down there too. I hope she's okay. I haven't she's on the her. side that didn't get it yeah. so bad. Thank goodness. Yeah. Thank goodness. Now I chose today. I gave him a choice. Well, no, yesterday. she's on. Uh, she's right there at Fort Myers. Oh, is she? Yeah. I thought she was over yeah. further inland. Wow. No. Wow. But she's okay. You've checked on her. And I haven't. Okay. I'm hoping well, she's you, okay. Yeah. They said cell lines are down, towers are down. A lot of cell lines ain't no such thing. Cell, cell line. Yeah. That's like a Volkswagen <laughs> radiator. Oh, Lord, you got up this morning and couldn't find your way around. Spark plugs for the Cummins diesel. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's just going to be uh, You ever have a day, folks? You have a day. Uh, first of all, I got up this morning. I like to never got the safe open to get these guitars out right here. And then I thought I'd never get it open. On days when I can't open the safe, you really ought to stay at home. But yeah. I came on anyway, and then I ran over the curb out here trying to get parked. <laughs> So I, I don't know. Oh, we're just glad, happy to be here. Aren't happy we? to be here. I told him. I said, please bring a guitar and let's do some live music. Well, he couldn't no, even probably get not the a good safe idea. open. Yeah. So he said, never mind. <laughs> never mind. So yeah. we have some recorded stuff. Yeah. And I really went out on a limb today. Donovan chose one of the songs. I chose one with he and Ed Forrester because everybody in L.J. knows Ed, loves Ed. Uh, Ed's been around forever, and you were his backup. You were his drummer in what years? 1983, 82, and 83, and maybe some of 84. I don't remember, but I played drums for the... Uh, 
Rustler's Band, fronted by Ed Forrester, mm -hmm. for a long time. And it, did that kind of really give you the bug that you wanted to be your own stand-up guy and you wanted to be the lead man? I don't know. I was already leading man at that time. I was just doing it. They, I don't know. We, we, it was it? a lot of fun. Good musician lineup. That's cool. In that band. Now, can we tell folks that they're going to be able to see you live in Ella J at the Apple Festival? I will be performing at the Apple Festival. What an honor. Mm -hmm. Is that not an honor? Yeah, it's really cool. The Apple Festival? For Mr. Ella J. You got me? You're Mr. Ella J. See that apple on your sign that I says know, right there? You're... I know, yeah. Yeah, what is Apple Festival, Donovan wants to know. <laughs> It's, it's this place where the, we all get together and eat good food and stuff. Yeah, and it's where it is the 8th and the 9th and the 15th and 16th, is that right? Yep, yep. it is. Yeah, 8th and 9th and 15th and 16th. Mm -hmm. And I will tell y'all, a lot of folks say we leave town the week of the Apple Festival. Well, when you leave, 14 people take your place. Yeah. And they yep. come in, it is going to be crazy crowded, and that's a good thing for the economy. That is a really, really good thing for the economy. The apple houses, the wineries, everybody's going to be packed. Heck yeah. You can get apples there every once in a while, according to our producer and director. You got <laughs> some apples. Says, There's yeah. a few apples on hand. A few yeah. apples, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, may have to bring in a few more. Mm, <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, some arts and crafts. Whatever, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever apple you can dream and of some will probably and be some there. Food. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Lots of good food. Mm -hmm. Lots of good, good food. Good music, good music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you haven't seen the playback of Heart of the Home, <clears throat> but we've done it for many, many you years. You know what's weird? What? I rarely, I've never seen hardly anything that we film here. Because <laughs> you don't uh, have TV. I don't have TV. <laughs> He doesn't watch movies. He doesn't listen. I go to my aunt's house and I watch a little every now and then, but you'll only, you'll watch only. Yeah. That's all yeah, you'll do, yeah. but uh, I'll, I'll leave that right there. He doesn't hunt. He doesn't fish. Yeah. He doesn't go to movies. He doesn't watch TV. He doesn't get on YouTube. He doesn't uh, like sports at all in any single way, <clears throat> but you name anything musical. And this man, he, he, he makes me angry because he really makes me look stupid. <laughs> Because anything <laughs> no. in the 70s, I was too busy raising kids and working three jobs. I don't even know what yeah. music era was in the 70s and 80s. And then my kids came along and I had to listen to Prince. Of course, I did like Prince. And Prince a little was bit. <clears throat> yeah, he was a musical genius. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he was a really musical was, genius. Yeah. But these are the things my daughter listened to Cindy Lauper, Madonna, Prince. That's what I got to hear. So you've never asked any questions about that. And I'm glad because I don't know the answers, did they? Yeah. There Madonna. None of these. No, no, no. Cindy Lauper, I like her, okay. Yeah. But Prince the, is real good. But the Beatles. The, the Beatles. Beatles. You and Donovan yes. have that in common. Yes, we do. Y'all do like the Beatles. We do. <laughs> you do like the Beatles. And today, because you didn't, I asked him last night, I said, would you please bring your guitar and let's have live music again because people love when you pick your guitar. He didn't bring it. So I chose some music. I, chose. I guess I'll learn, won't I? <laughs> yeah, he will. I but chose. I want to see more shows. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of things we've recorded. So we, In the winter, you'll have to. I have. know. We're, yes. we're going to put it all on an on a external hard drive, and then I can just watch right. it. Right. Yeah. That's what you can do. It is on YouTube, though, too. You can go Okay, YouTube yeah, I, I do see yeah, a little on there, but it's hard for me to be still long enough to, I don't know. That's it's a long the problem. Story. That's what I was getting yeah. to. This man does not know that if you get a, a, a Coke and a box of popcorn. I don't drink you Cokes. Can sit, see? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't drink coffee, he doesn't drink Cokes, he doesn't drink wine or beer or alcohol. And <laughs> the, <guys. laughs> the boringest human being in the world and, and, and more fun than anybody. My never friend, drunk coffee, never drunk alcohol, drink. and haven't <laughs> drunk a Coca-Cola or anything like that in over 20 years. Oh my gosh, I know. how boring. I know. No, bless his heart. I know. You're healthy, you're happy, and you're wise. That's cool. So, well, I don't know about some of that, but... Yeah. All right, we're going to show a video of the back roads, and this is just 45 seconds. I want y'all to get out before the fall traffic gets here. In about three weeks, the fall traffic is going to be unbelievable, but you've got time right now to get in your vehicle after supper tonight 
and you ladies look over at honey and you say honey let's go ride the back roads because i don't care what kind of car you got what kind of truck you got get out there and do it so here we go now where did you take me that day let me get up to speed here where in the world are we uh I yeah, we're at ATC, Donovan said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that, I thought this looked uh -oh, familiar. Uh-oh, there yeah. you go. Is that, is that Gates Chapel? I believe it is. I believe it. Now, that's the second trip. That's the trip we made. I don't know. Now, I'm so confused. I don't know. But I do know. No, hold on. I got it. It's, uh, I think it's 52 West. Okay. Yeah, by, ride the back roads till you get lost. Yeah. yeah, and then you get on your phone. This is so cool. We're in a 1950 truck. We get lost. You pull out your brand new 2022 phone to get you back home. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. We we don't go far. What? Ten minutes? No, it wouldn't. Twenty far. minutes, something like that. Not far. I'm trying to figure out. But where we this go is. to different roads and different places, and that now. Now I know now, where that you know is. Where that is? Where yeah. is that? That's a secret. I won't tell That's anybody. A secret People keep hideaway. asking me, and I won't tell yeah. them. I said it's a big, big secret, but you'll find out one day. Because it's where you can do... go to become nowhere man. Isn't that the coolest thing it's ever? Cool. And the sound of that water was uh -huh. amazing. Now the creek's down as low as I've ever seen it. We haven't had much rain lately. Oh, this is where you and Tim went? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Where's Tim? Yes. He's in the, gone to Kentucky. To oh, he told stuff. me that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, He'll be yeah, back yeah. tomorrow. But this <clears> is <throat> just the coolest place, and the I want to, next time, next time I'm putting my foot in the water, and I'm going to test that temperature of the water. What do you think the temperature of the water is? Oh, it'd be pretty low. It comes out of that Fort Mountain. <clears throat> Maybe in the 60? Probably, 50, probably so, yeah. Well, Nana Hala is 55 degrees year round. Do you think this one might be that cold? I just don't know, but I'd say likely. Well, we're going to find out because yeah. I'm going to take a thermometer with me last ne last time. Next time, we're going to test mm. that out. So get out on the back roads tonight after supper before the weekend hits. Before or even before supper, go to the DQ and get you a chili dog with slaw and then yes. get you a, a really good hot dog and then take the back roads and go out and ride around. We went, um, you can go, what was that um, near Vic's house, the name of the road? Maple Rest. Maple Rest. That was a really, really pretty drive. Really yeah. pretty drive. <clears throat> but you can also go board town and go through Cassius Valley, or you could go through Bushy, is it Bushy, Gap, Bushy Head, Bushy Head? You ever yeah. been there? Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah. got buddies that live up there. Yeah. You could go board town and take a couple of side roads, and you can actually come out in Copper Hill, Tennessee, if you go that way. <clears throat> so get out tonight before the holiday, before the weekend traffic comes, and just take a ride. Just take a ride. So, and have some fun and, and giggle and laugh and act stupid. Now, <clears throat> you and your Barney. What if you're not acting? <laughs> I know. Uh, he did the Barney thing. And Barney? I, yeah, when, I did. <clears throat> you know when you were doing the five, five, five the solo? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so, oh so you're not going to air that, are you? <laughs> yeah, probably oh, gosh. not today. Because <laughs> he killed me. No. Oh. But it was so funny. I looked over there and I said, <clears throat> oh, my God, he's Barney Five. And, <laughs> and I said, no, do man. you have a bullet? <laughs> yeah. You got a bullet? <laughs> no, no, I don't. No, no, it was crazy. It was crazy. Yeah. You gotta have fun. You gotta laugh. <clears throat> you gotta get out and you gotta enjoy yourself because you know what's gonna happen one day? We're gonna be gone. Yeah. We're gonna be gone. And we'll somebody fade like a flower. Somebody's gonna say they were so much fun and I had so much fun with that. And that is the coolest compliment you can get. Is they always made me laugh. They always made me smile. Somebody wrote a piece about me Excuse years me. ago, and Gosh. they said you have an infectious laugh. And I said, "What does that mean?" It's catching. And they said, "Yeah, you always make me smile, and that's a compliment." So, and you, you do make people smile. So. You know, seriously, if you live to be <coughs> real old, mm -hmm. you're I, still not here long. No, no. <coughs> and it's like sweet little Margie, 82 years old. 82. Yeah, 82. And I bet to her it seems like it was I yesterday. I know. Probably seems you know? like nothing. Yeah, yeah. And my yeah. sister, who's two years older than me, I like being the younger one. She's two years older than me. 
Okay, we're going to go for a commercial break, and then when we come back, we're going to share a little bit of music with you and Ed Forrester. Now, he was doing, what do you call that thing, harmonizing with you? Yes. Yes. Are you, you can't land in any of the airports today because they're all closed because of the hurricane. Oh, no. So you'll just have to stay airborne. Yeah, I'll okay. stay in the all wind. Right, here we go. Everything's <laughs> in the wind anyway. We'll be right back. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling. Take the back roads and really get to know North Georgia. Combine the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories, writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. We're back. Oh my gosh. Now, muscadine jelly. Is it want, time to taste? Do you want to taste a little bit? And yes, tell folks? I do. <laughs> Dawn's going to be selling this. I'm going to actually be at the cabin this weekend selling Mr. LJ t shirts and CDs. And at the same time, I'm going to scarf up some of Dawn's muscadine jelly and take folks, it with me. And if you want some, she's selling it. So, you should buy it. $8 you some a of jar. This. $8 a Her jar. Her name is Cherokee Dawn. Yes, yes. And she is the canning uh, queen. You never notice uh, young people, they say Don? Yeah. Well, Don is Don. <laughs> her name's Don. And it's Don. <laughs> her name is Don. And we're going to taste her muscadine jelly right now. Yep. Here we go. Uh-oh. Is it good? It's really good, isn't it? It is delicious. <laughs> it's, really it's the best ever. <laughs> Yep. And I think you got you some competition. I know. She's good. She's right great. in the family when it comes to canning here. <laughs> She's good. I might even add some stiff competition. Yep. Yep. This is good stuff. She's good. And she enjoys doing it. This girl makes homemade kraut, y'all. She makes homemade kraut. She makes homemade salsa. She just, she can. Okay. When it comes to kraut. You don't like it. I'm out. I'm out. I don't yeah. like it. Yeah. I like store-bought kraut, which is crazy. I like the Jewish deli store-bought kind, but I don't like canned kraut. I got sick on it when I was little. 
That's it. That'll do no you. more, please. Yeah, that'll do you in. Yeah, yeah. That, that done it. Yep. And she said she apologizes that it didn't set up quite as good as it should it's have. It's perfect. Is it bothering you? Can I have it? it? <laughs> yeah, she sent it to you. No, it's perfect. <laughs> you yeah. nailed it, Dawn. Yeah. You nailed this yeah. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. This yeah. is good stuff. Yeah, it is good stuff. And she really... See, you didn't, you didn't say eat the whole jar. No, you need to keep a little bit because you want your sugar real close. So let's... I yeah. try to. We, we need to watch that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're trying to make you live to be older. Older. Yeah, I, I, older. I caught the ER part. <laughs> older. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Let's talk about other old folks. Ed Forrester. <clears throat> Long time Ed's friend, old. Jim. He's, he's older than us. I got the best buddies. Do I not have the best buddies? You do. You do? Yeah. I for those of you who don't that. like me, <laughs> I'll just let you know. I got some cool people that do. <laughs> You're crazy. He's crazy. All yeah. right. We're going to go to a minute and 22 seconds. You love Hank Sr. And you I do, and I Ed, do. I was sitting there with the camera and just videoing and y'all were chit-chatting and and you broke out in song, and he was harmonizing with you. Mm -hmm. And the sad thing is, you only did a minute and 22 seconds of this. So, but we're going to share it with our audience today. Is this the blooper? No, no, no. The blooper's later in the I've show. I've been threatened <laughs> the that there's a blooper. The blooper is so far in the show because I'm afraid he's going to get up and run. So I have to do it at the end of the show. So. <laughs> but anyway, now we want to remind people, you will be live in person at the Apple Festival. It I can I can cool. tell you this. I'm I'm pretty sure I lost my schedule, and I I've sent them Along a message. Along with the safe, he lost the yeah. schedule. Lost <clears throat> it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they're sending me my schedule, but Why I think it's I think it's on the eight. Your marbles. Yeah. The schedule yeah. about your marbles. Yeah, I know. That's where they are. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure my spot is 11 o'clock on October the 8th, and I think it's 1 o'clock on October the 15th. So I got two go. shows. <clears throat> there you go. There you, you know go. why, don't you? Because you're M.E. Who is that? Mr. Ella J. Mr. Ella J. I'm going to sing that song I wrote about Ella J. Yeah. I don't know if you've heard it. <laughs> yeah. It's called Welcome to Ella J. And uh, yeah. I told the truth, and I made it rhyme. And the truth of the years from 60s to... Yeah, what, what I remember growing yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The red dot parking lot, all these places. <clears throat> we remember these places, and I wrote a song yeah. about it. Yep. And uh, if y'all are watching and you remember those days, you might remember... When them cars would pull out of the red dot and head back toward I've town, been there. oh me! I was sitting there on my bicycle actually, but I don't. I have not forgotten. It's <laughs> yeah. It was a show. Yeah. The only time I ever saw a street car bring the front wheels off of the ground was right in front of the red dot on North Main. It was a red primered '55 Chevrolet with a 427 in it. <laughs> and who was driving? I don't, might not should say, I don't know. I, uh oh. I, I don't know, I don't know if they want me calling her name. But he had a brother and it came out of his brother's 70, uh, no 69 Impala, 427 did, and y'all already know who it is anyway. But I saw that old Mackie pulled it out there in front of the red dot and he, he clutched it at once or something like that and he took off and it reared up like a stallion. <laughs> And it was. It was the one and only time I ever saw that. <laughs> wow. How cool. Okay, you're going to get to saw this. You're going to get to see right now. Just a little you bit. You said saw? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you get to saw this. I used to know this old man. You start to go. He'd say, we'll saw you, old boy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Not we'll see you. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right. Ed Forrester. Eight. I try so hard, my dear, to show. Oh. Uh -huh. 
I guess he's watching. Good morning, Ed. Good morning, Ed Forrester. Love you and, and so honored to, to be able to share you in the moments that y'all captured that day. That was a fun day. I got good friends. You talked about his trucking. You talked about his music. You talked about when he was uh, on the Louisiana Hayride. Uh -huh. Yeah, you talked about all I sort things. of did that interview, didn't I? You did. Yeah. You did. You I did. got Vic. I got Vic, uh, Vic Davis and Ed Forrester. Mm-hmm. Ronnie Herndon, Some all these guys. people. Well, let me tell you what I got. I got a house full, a barn full, a tractor trailer full, and we're about to have an estate sale. And Mr. Sanford was one of the first people that I let analyze the stuff. There's a lot of stuff. And we're going to be having a sale in about three weeks if we can just get through all the craziness and shenanigans of the Apple Festival and all the other things, in three to four weeks, we're going to be having an estate sale. I can't disclose the location yet, but I will tell you it is Fannin County. We have got so much stuff, and we're just going to run through these pictures and show you. And this is just little, tiny, minor nothings of what we have. Because today, we're unloading the tractor and trailer, and there are boys' tools, there are men's tools, there are little girls' tools, there are <coughs> frilly, <coughs> frilly little <coughs> outfits, there are clothes, there are pocketbooks, there are belts, there are some of the coolest old hammers. See those wood handles on mm -hmm. those chisels? Mm -hmm. There's something about that old wood handle. I'm fascinated with them. I absolutely loved them. So you guys who are watching us, <clears throat> and some of the most beautiful, she has all kinds of glassware, all the furniture is going to be sold, the paintings, the pictures, the dishes. I've got people standing in line that i got to deliver dishes to. Um, just amazing. There's a wonderful Baldwin piano that I know you played the other day. Yeah, it's a great piano, too. It's yeah. perfectly in tune. <clears throat> and Even it's though in great shape. You say you can't play the piano, you played the piano. So, did you know that sometimes you say you can't do something, but then you do it, and then you do give you yourself know away? That sometimes I say I did something when I didn't. <laughs> Every once in a while. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm just being funny. He is, he is crazy. He's crazy, y'all. And I'm so thankful. Oh, no. Is. I was, I was uh, advised uh, just prior to the coming on air. Don't try to be funny. Uh oh. And don't try to use big words. Oh no, that's But I bad. did anyway. Yeah, because everybody loves when you're funny. They think you're crazy. Yeah. Well. Was and did we not get all the pictures of all the shoes and stuff? Maybe not. Oh okay. Oh okay. Okay. So we probably have about if you wear a size seven shoe, ladies, or seven and a half, you might want to bring your feet to this estate sale. And if you ever dress up, you might want to be ready to get dressed up if you wear little T90 sizes, because this lady has got more clothes. And I just finally said we ain't taking them out of the closets. We're gonna let you pilfer through the closets because there's way there too many clothes to move. There's the bald one plays perfectly. <clears throat> there's a now a lot of people like those lamps like that. Old yeah. folks like that. It's convenient to sit there with your stuff on it, your clothes. Yeah. So that's for sale. Everything in the house is going to be sold. Um, it is It is a cool, cool house with acreage, and it's going to be an exciting estate sale, and we will be doing it in about three weeks. And, um, you know, I'm trying to think of the things that... The things that is really that those gold glasses? No, no, mm -mm, those aren't them. No, they're we actually have them on eBay right now. They were belong to a lady up in South Carolina. But those, yeah. yeah, that silver. The reason I don't use silver is right there. You have to clean it, or it looks bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a lot of trouble. But, I know. But we've got a dining room suit, a china cabinet, a buffet, <coughs> two bedroom suits. Um, some an, an old beauty shop. Now let me tell you something. If you are in the movie industry and you are looking for the perfect old beauty shop, I know a guy that I could call it. and well, he might buy this. Well, we got it. We got it because this he does shop, sets. Mm -hmm. he, he's in Utah right now well, doing a set for they're shooting some big movie. That's what we need. 
We need somebody to buy because this is the coolest old beauty shop. And it is like walking back into the 70s. So mm. that is really, really cool. And uh, some neat, neat tools. And y'all, I'm serious. If you wear a seven or a seven and a half, there's about 100, probably 110, 115 pair of shoes. Pocketbooks, belts. I've never seen so many belts in my life. If I were her husband, I'd have been worried that she was gonna strangle me because I've never seen a woman <laughs> with so many belts ever. And then scarves. She scarfed everything. She wore a scarf with every outfit, evidently, because I've got tons of them. It's going to be a really cool estate sale, and um, precious, precious family. I'm honored to be able to serve them and to uh, do things to, to make the end of this work for them. So it's going to be really cool. And I will give you all the details in about two and a half weeks. We'll be it's able a Baldwin. To that. It's a Baldwin piano, so there yeah. you go. And I would love to see somebody whose kids are taking piano lessons yeah. or who just loves to sit and play to yep. uh, get that awesome piano. So, all right, Donovan, you can come back to us now. All right, sir. Donovan chose a song to do oh, that me. you did. This is, I'm not responsible for this one, Donovan is. So I hope he made the right choice. So he's over there and you're over here and you mm -hmm. have to get up and go over there to choke him. So, no, I ain't like, able. Unlike next to me, he can just choke me out. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're going to do another song that you did. I had no idea when you even did this song. But he had a, he said, I really like this one. And I said, okay. So Donovan he, said that? He did. He did. So I let hmm. him choose. You know, he's the director. I guess is he wanting give, a raise or what? I don't know. We should give him some creativity and yeah. we should let him do this. So. So now the next song you're going to hear is purely because Donovan likes it. So here we good, go. Good, good. Well, Mr. I'm glad LJ. somebody likes something. Mr. LJ doing something by request. Yes. Here we are. Yes. Then I'll just take what's left of me Right back to where it used to be And you go sell your magic carpet Far across the sky I wish I could have made it More like the movies for It's never 
tell folks why Donna chose that song and a little bit about it. That song was sung by a man named Dennis LeCourier. Everybody mispronounces it, and I hope I just didn't. <laughs> yeah. Dennis LeCourier. And it was written by Shel Silverstein, and it was a band called Dr. Hook and the Medicine Show, one of my very, very, very favorites. And uh, I just always liked the song, and thanks for liking that. Yeah. I didn't know you. That's yeah. a good song. Yay. And he loves uh, the cover of the Rolling Stones. Oh, gosh, I love Dr. Hook. Yeah. I swear, yeah. they're yeah. right in there with... Yeah. In, in the USA, I just don't know who. Uh, yeah. Credence and, and maybe and Dr. Hook right there together. Now you said you're going to do this when you do the Mr. When you do the Apple Festival. I will Festival? sing that song at the Apple Festival. Because you love it. I do. There you go. I do. There you go. <clears throat> and again, the Apple Festival is going to be two weekends in a row. It's the 8th and 9th and the 15th and 16th. And you're going to appear once one weekend and once the next That weekend. is correct. And um, in preparing for that, I'm going to be at the cabin this weekend selling T-shirts and hats for you to get ready when you come to his concert. Would you please come by and pick up a shirt and wear it? And um, we had these designed by a young man that has been doing stuff for probably 25 years. And he and his wife run the business. He is an art artistic gentleman. And last night, somebody saw the shirt and said, I know who designed that. He designs mine, too. And I said, absolutely, he is the best. So to Lee and Jerry, thank you so much for everything you did to make this happen. It's a really, really cool shirt <clears throat> that you edited five times, I believe. Think I saw so. the corrections. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We did I kept it. disapproving proofs. Yes. He would get it almost right. Yeah, and then well. uh, Lee would say, you want what now? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> so, I got something for you. Yep. The first person to text me, 706-889-3116, and tell me who this bass guitar used to belong to behind me, I'll give you a t-shirt. How will people know? They just might know. 706-889-3116. Text me and tell me whose guitar that was. <clears throat> 706-889-3116, and this guitar is how old? Could you give them a hint? We went to Rhythm City and bought that in 1978. Rhythm City down in Smyrna? George Luther, yes. You're kidding? Yes. Oh, my gosh. I know. I used to work right down the street from yeah. there. That oh, is George, so oh, Lord, what a mess. Gosh. George would tickle you to death. Wow. So what brand is this guitar? Fender Precision. And that's Rosewood why, Neck, and you tell me who used to play that dang. and who it belonged to. You get a T-shirt. You get a free T-shirt. Yay. How the cool first one that? to text me and tell me that. You can text now because I got my sound off. It's okay. <clears throat> and that, it's somebody who meant a lot to you, didn't they? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Keep on. We're going we're gonna to know. Give it away. I don't care. <clears throat> now, what's over here of this other guitar? Who's the other one? The guy was playing that on the other side of the stage from him. So if you're from L.A.J., you might have an edge because you know that um, you had a group for quite a few years, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And uh, played all around the communities, the town, and uh, one place in particular. What? Move to the left, Mr. Sam. Oh, this yeah. Oh, yeah, the guitar. Yeah, <laughs> there he is. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That's a beautiful guitar. Yep. Beautiful guitar. Yep. And do you remember those days on stage? Oh, gosh, yeah. Don't you wish we had had an iPhone back then? And I you know. had recordings Ain't it of awful? All that? Ain't yeah. it just awful? Yeah. Well, I remember we had some times. the first, what did you call those things? VHS recorder that the cameras were so big and heavy and it was hard for people to take. Yeah. And they had to carry them on their shoulders. Yep, yep, yep. But that's, you know, that's what cameras <clears throat> used to be. And now these little lightweight things that they take to the ball games. Yeah. Trace, what do you think that thing weighs? A pound? Yeah, yeah. It's so different, just so different. Yeah. There's the other guitar. Yeah. Okay, and, and this gentleman, is he around not anymore? No, no he neither left of these gentlemen are around anymore. No, this, the one that played that guitar is still around. In fact, okay. he's here today. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's my guitar. <laughs> the Telecaster is. Oh, okay, I got 
got and it. And the guy that played that <laughs> bass was on the other side of the stage. And wow. When he passed away, he said, I want you to have that when I go. Wow. He didn't say if, he said when. Wow. And about a year later, he was gone. He was gone. Yeah. Too young. Yeah. Too young. Too 47. young. 47. <clears throat> too young, too talented. Um, life was good. And, I know. Yeah, and then it ends. Okay, I've got two announcements I need to make because my friend Bob Reese would be very disappointed if I didn't because he knows how much I love the fact that he raises money and raises um, lots of money to do Christmas for over 700 kids in Cherokee County. <laughs> Bike and Classic Car Show. This is the Ride for Charity. It benefits White Christmas for Cherokee County, supplying Christmas for underprivileged children. And last year he had about 725 kids that they supplied Christmas for. This is October the 8th, and this is at 5301 Hickory Flat Highway. Great event, great facility, music, lunch will be provided. All this is included for $20 for you to come and be there. The food is fantastic. They, I think Georgian Hills makes their slaw, and it is the best slaw in this world. It makes mine look bad, and I don't like that. <laughs> but anyway, um, again, if you want more information, call 770-500-4848. And once again, you are giving back to help underprivileged children. That's what we do. And this is Saturday, October the 8th, and it begins sign up at 9 a.m. <coughs> the ride is at 10, and the lunch and concert begin at 11.15. So, and I was going to be there, but I'll tell you where I'm going to be. I'm going to be sitting right off stage selling his T-shirts while he's on stage. So I won't get to be there this year, but I will make a donation to him. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, the hats are coming in today. I'm excited about that. I can't wait for Bryant Strickland to have one of your hats. That'll be cool. He's a hat dude. Yeah. Yeah, he's a hat dude. He's, yeah. he's, our, he's our Vietnam veteran. Good, good guy. Good, good Heck guy. Yeah. And, and good morning, Brian. I, I love you, and I'm so thankful. Brian he always, walks, too. He, he walks a lot. He says nice things. Yeah, he he's says good nice guy. things. And I want to remind you, please put this on your calendar. White Christmas Concert, the Isaacs, John Bowman, and Glory Band, November the 13th at 4 p.m. And when you look and see, yes, we will be there. All four generations of us will be there. Me, Don, Ansley, Zana, we will all be at this concert because we're going to be there helping to raise money for underprivileged children. Again, this is the 36th year that Bob and Linda Reese have made Christmas possible for children who otherwise would not have had Christmas. That is good. It is that close to Christmas, so y'all think about it. Think Christmas about it. is just around the corner. It is. What you getting me for Christmas this year? I'm getting you a Mr. Ella J. Christmas CD. <laughs> I knew he would. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Seriously, I have a Christmas CD. And it's and awesome. It's, you know, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, ain't nobody here to brag on it, so I will. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. Yeah. And in the near future, we're going to be starting to play that music. And the one song that really touched everybody, um, and it did make me cry. It was, made me cry. I liked and never got it recording because I couldn't stop crying. What What brought this about? Oh, sorry, I liked and never got it recorded yeah. because I couldn't stop what crying. What brought that song about? Just studying. Mm, writing, Why? thinking about old times and mm -hmm. stuff like that. It's called Merry Christmas, Ella J. And it tells a story that happened right here in Ella J. And a very close to true story. Mm -hmm. And a very good And And what was weird, <laughs> I forgot the lady's name. We, we went to visit. <clears throat> she's the one that called in that night. Yeah, yeah. That was very strange. She, <laughs> she said, called on the phone. Mm hmm. She said, you know, I'm the one. And yeah. you're like, what? How about that? That was weird. You talk about, I'm getting cold chills thinking about it. That was strange. That was strange. She How said many years ago? Kind of, I don't know, it was about 80, 86, right in there somewhere. And she said, uh, there's a light out there under the bridge. There's something going on under that bridge out there. There's a light. And you're on patrol? Yep. Listen to the song, it tells the whole story. It does. It the does. old guy sat there all alone, humming one by Hag. Yep. God, it, it is a good song, guys. I can't wait for you to hear it. Now, I can't wait for you to hear We're going to do a little blooper right quick. It's just oh, 16 no, not seconds. The blooper. It's just a few seconds. 
Because, you love bloopers, don't you? Yeah, I do, and I've got about Well, I wondered how come you keep having me on the show. Now I know. <laughs> yeah, I've got I'm your blooper king. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. About 16 seconds when he didn't have a clue where he was at or what he was doing. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, hey. Start over. I got, okay. Ready? He got three <laughs> words out. Almost heaven. West Virginia, four yeah. words. What, what What did I not like about it? I don't, I don't know. know. That's what I wanted to ask <coughs> you. I, that, that's the difference in, I didn't know anything was wrong. And yeah. he stopped. Well, I, I did. Thought, what was wrong? <laughs> I don't know. Something was wrong or you wouldn't have stopped. I guess so. It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. Something didn't feel just right. Well, guess what we're going to end with today? Country roads. <laughs> Guess what? I, I should I should have guessed two other things and then country roads. I found a version that he didn't blow it. Yeah. And I got I got tickled today and I, I don't have the guts yet to do this, but he's been trying to learn Smoky Mountain memories. And I have several Or lack thereof. I, I yeah. need to be trying to yeah. learn Smoky Mountain. He's been trying memories. to learn that and trying to learn Ain't It Good to Be Back Home Again by John Denver. John Denver, you've nailed that one. But the other one, because he's a rock and roll guy. He's really not a country guy. At heart. Yeah. He's all rock, and I have had to bring him over to where we want him to be because y'all like the country stuff. Yes. A whole lot of you like the rock and roll stuff, but a bunch of you like the country, so I outvoted everybody today, and I said, we're ending with Take Me Home Country Roads. I don't care that we did it last week. We're ending with it again. You know why? Well, you're the boss. No. No, them I'm people the that send me emails. Oh, oh they're the boss. Yeah. They're the boss. Yeah. They said, we really like when he does take me home country roads. And I said, I have the authority to play it any time I want to. You do. Guess what we're ending with? Take me home, country roads. How about that? Yeah, how do I know that? Now, when you do the Apple Festival, are you going to do that song? I will, just as sure as I'm there and breathing. Yep, good. Now, would you like to know what fans would like for you to do that day? Because I think fans love when you do Merle Haggard. You do Merle really good. I'll do some Merle. Yeah, you. That's that and Old Hank. When you do that, I'll old do Hank, some of that. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'll do Cat Stevens. I'll do Pirates of the Mississippi. I'll do Lobo. What else? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Charlie Pride. Of I can course. do some Charlie, Charlie Pride. Pride. Yeah. yeah. There are so many things that people will say, can you get him to do that again? Can you ask him to do that? Can you tell him I really like that? Yeah. And so I can do that, y'all. And I can push a button and then Donovan can say, oh, you want to do that one again? So right now we're going to take you to Mr. LJ doing Take Me Home Country Roads. Let's do hey. it.
country road. Guess what we're doing tomorrow? Country roads? We are. <laughs> we're going to do Heart of the Home on the Country Roads of Ella J. And we're going to be at the top lot, and we're going to be cooking, and we're going to be serving up some really cool food on China out in the woods. And then I'm, you're going to provide the entertainment, and you're going to provide the fire, and I'm going to do the cooking, and Miss Evelyn's going to wash the dishes. But she's never washed dishes in a big old wash pot. Reckon she can handle that? She can do it. She can do it. She can do it. I just see her doing it. Squeeze that Dawn dish liquid in that pan and she'll yeah. just, yeah, yeah. So Miss Evelyn's going to be helping me. We're going to be doing a, a heart of the home. We're excited about it. It is so good to be back in the kitchen, outside in the kitchen. It's really, really cool to be cooking outside. And for you all who watched and saw that amazing thing that he provides as a stove. I said, you might be a redneck if honey makes a stove out of wheels. Now that was pretty weird. Yeah. That's pretty weird, but it sure serves the purpose. I built that myself. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Welded two <laughs> wheels together. <laughs> yeah. It's the way we used to do it on those aircraft carriers uh -huh. back in the war. When you were a child, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of back in the war, to every single veteran, we are approaching Veterans Day. We are only five weeks away from Veterans Day, and, and it is time. This is the time of year homeless veterans will freeze to death on the street. Oh, no. If you can do something, please <clears throat> send us a photo. You can email it to the Sherry Show at hotmail.com. And Donovan will put t something together, and we will do a tribute in honor of all of you. We still have the one that Donovan did 14 years ago, and we have aired it for over 14 years. I would love to have an update. I would love to have some of the guys who are serving and the ladies who are serving today. I know some amazing Black Hawk helicopter pilots that are women. Did you ever see, think you'd live to see that? Yes. Yep. They're very capable just as much as anybody. Right. And they need to be doing it. They need to be doing it. Yes. Well, I want you to say goodbye to everybody because we've got 40 <coughs> seconds left, so. In 40 seconds. Yeah. Folks, thank you for watching. Learn about the roundabout. If you can go, you do go. <laughs> oh, that's for, a truth. Yeah. And I thank you for watching. It's been fun. Is it not fun? It's fun. It's just we fun. have fun and we get things yes, done. Heck so, yeah. yeah, and Don, thank you for the jelly. And thank you to everybody with the sweet comments and, and the kind calls. And I appreciate every bit of it. And uh, y'all are the greatest boost to our egos because you all love us and we appreciate that. Thanks for the messages. Thank Let's you. see who won that T-shirt now. Somebody's got a new T-shirt. Somebody's got a new T-shirt. Thank yeah. you. And I'll see you again only on ETC. Bye, y'all. in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling.